How's it going, boys? Rosine here for Astrophotography on the 9th of July. It's a Saturday. The moon is quite full tonight, but it's clear all throughout the night. No astro darkness, but I haven't been out imaging for such a long time that I'm going to take this opportunity and I'm going to probably get out as much kit as I as I think I can. So it's about quarter past nine now, we'll get it dark around half past ten. So we should get set up. Okay, let me break down to what I've got going on here. Got the Skywatcher EQ6R Pro here as the mount. Tried and tested, never let me down. Love this mount the bits. Stellar Mira 66ED, so that's a 66mm refracting telescope. F6, which I think is 400? 400 millimeters with the 0.8 reducer in it. We've got the ASI Air Plus to control everything, autofocuser and a guide camera. It's at the back, which is slightly different now. I actually have from ZWO directly the 533MM Pro, that's the monochrome version of the 533, with a full set of ZWO filters. I have a color camera at the moment to back up in case I don't... I have a color camera to back up onto in case I don't feel like shooting mono at the minute. I don't want to take the ball off of him, but geez. Shh. However, at this time, he's now eating flowers. Finn. <laughs> Tonight is one of those situations where I really should probably use the color camera. So tonight is one of those opportunities where I probably should use a color camera. Uh, I can't remember how long it's been since a clear night. Tonight's a clear night. I don't know when the next clear night is going to be. And there's about a four hour window of photography. I should probably be using a color camera with a multi narrow band pass filter. But in this case, I want to try the HA and the O3 on this to make a bicolor image. I've decided I'm going to try shooting the East Val Nebula and Cygnus. It's a bright target, it's very rewarding. There's HA, there's O3. I'm really picking my battle tonight. So Cygnus will be up over that direction. Should be up all night. Hopefully the house won't be in the way. I'm trying to put the telescope in the right place in the garden, but we'll see about that. So yeah, that's the rig. Now, <laughs> I actually have a little phone grip on the top here, which I want to put one of my spare phones into. I've got an intervalometer app on it. I'm gonna try and take some long phone photography <laughs> and see what happens there. I told you, I'm trying to get all the footage and all the pictures I can today because it's been far too long since I made a video imaging vlog and I like making imaging vlogs. So it's actually now the end of July and I filmed this video initially basically at the beginning of July and why is it not out yet? Let me tell you why, because man was this a schoolboy error. So I'm using a mono camera in this video, right? I'm using the 533mm with a filter wheel. Now, when I put the narrow band filters, well, all the filters in that filter wheel, I put them L, R, G, B, S, H, O, because that is how I pronounce the full filter range, okay? I always say S, H, O. Now, in the ASI Air Plus app, it goes L-R-G-B-H-O-S. Can you see where the error occurred? <sighs> what I thought I was imaging with, I thought I was shooting hydrogen and oxygen. But in reality, I shot sulfur and hydrogen. So when I was sitting there trying to edit this photo, thinking I've got oxygen and uh, hydrogen data, I was actually putting uh, SHH into my color palette and I wasn't getting the result I thought I was meant to be getting. And I was sitting there, I'm not gonna lie, it really bothered me, all right? I, I think it really upset me because I was like, why am I not getting a picture out of this? What have I done so wrong in my editing that I've not got a photo out of this? And it actually, it bared down on me for about a week. 
until I was just sitting there one day in the garden watching the dog play and it just kind of struck me to maybe I should check the filter wheel and sure enough the filter wheel and the high uh, and the ASI Air Plus app they didn't marry up they weren't synchronized so <laughs> I had to then well, probably would have been easier just to change the app now I think about it but then I changed the filters around to be LRGB HOS in the filter wheel and then I had to wait for another clear night to be able to get out and shoot some hydrogen I mean some oxygen data so really now I actually have an SHO array of data on this target so pleasant surprises maybe happy little accidents as old Bob Ross would have said I don't know but either way, I'm thinking this final image is probably now going to be a blend of hydrogen sulfur, oxygen, oxygen. So, yeah. <laughs> I just sit there going, what have I done so wrong here? I realized it was just such a schoolboy error. And I remember saying in this video that I probably should have used a color camera and a multi band pass filter. And sitting here a month afterwards thinking to myself, I really should have just used the color camera and I've had this video done by now. But you know what, you live and learn. If if nothing else, just <laughs> if you're putting filters into a filter wheel, make sure the filters and your app line up. <laughs> or else you're gonna have to wait for another clear night. So yeah, let's get back to our scheduled video vlog. That's really redundant. Why would I say that? Here we go. It's all set up now. It's the move shoot move all set up with the camera on it. Just gotta wait for dark really. Get pro aligned and get going. <laughs> 